Of course, I definitely remember the first LMA I used. I was a resident and the intubation was a major problem for me. I was trying to learn how to intubate difficult patients. And LMA was introduced into clinical practice and we didn't know at the beginning if, whether it would work or not. So we, I have done a study on LMAs and our success rate. But in coming years, the success rate of LMA has increased and also uh, the construction of LMA has made it much easier and technically simpler to be inserted and clinically used. But the first LMA is definitely uh, a step forward in my clinical practice, a big movement. LMA Supreme is very fast to place. That's one of the important issues. Uh, you don't face so many difficulty. You don't have to replace. The malpositioning is not necessary and it has uh, changed the clinical practice, making airways easier and safer. Although the supraglottic airway devices have made much easier the difficult airways, it is still sometimes difficult with uh, limited mouth opening patients or a patient with an intraoral tumor that you will have very limited space. And then an inflated cuff provides you more room, more space and makes it technically easier to place it. And then you can inflate the cuff after placing the uh, supraglottic airway devices, which is uh, which can be very important advantage over the other already inflated uh, airway devices.